Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and in this video, we're going to introduce a sport-specific drill that you can utilize every day to improve your agility, your balance, and overall performance. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about some sport-specific training. You can do anything you want. They're just only limited by your own creativity. But if your therapist or your, your patient, I should say, has shown you, wow, I'm, I'm, I can do everything you're asking me to do, and I still, you know, but there's a gap between that and getting back to the sport I love. It could be tennis. It could be soccer. It could be basketball, volleyball. It could be any, whatever it happens to be. Say, okay, how do I put you in a position to improve agility or agility drills? And something very simple is what I like to call the triangle drill. You can set up in an area where you just simply create a triangle, and the person's gonna work within that triangle. Now, if they're a tennis player, they might be in their tennis racket and utilize the tennis racket, whatever that sport happens to be. If it's a soccer ball, you may bring the soccer ball and utilize it as well. For right now, all we're gonna do is working on the motions within the triangle and how you get a workout out of that and work on that agility, that speed of movement, that fluency of movement. At the same point, then you can add all the different variables in. You can do that on the outside of the triangle with a basketball where you're passing them the ball on bounce passing, chest passing, and having them stop and shoot. All different factors, any sport you want, you can duplicate that. It's just you have to be creative and think about how do I use my triangle drill with whatever extra tools I have around. So putting this to the side, all I want you to do, Tracy, is we're gonna start here in the edge of the triangle. You're gonna basically move to the cones. That's all you're gonna be doing. And you're gonna do those on command. All right, so here, all I want you to do is I want you just to sidestep to your right cone. Good, forward step to the point cone. That's it, good. Turn, back pedal to the left cone. This, right back here, your weight outside. There you go, stay inside that cone, perfect. And then sidestep back over, excellent. Good, now crossover step to your left cone. There you go, good. Now back pedal back to this cone again. Look where we're at, stay inside the cone. There you go, excellent. Side step to your right. Good, side step back to your left with speed. That's it, pick it up, back to your right. Good, good, plant your foot and go to the front fast. Get there, boom, right straight back to the same cone you just came from. Back here, there you go, boom, boom. Crossover step to your left, boom, boom, and forward, fast as you can, press it off. Good, back pedal to your left. That's it, right there, that's it, straight back. And to the crossover step to the right cone. Crossover, there you go, crossover back. Good, crossover right. Good, crossover left. Good, forward step, fast, get out to the cone, good. Back to this cone on your right. Yep, here we go, boom. That's it, side step, exactly right. That's it, and side step back up to the point cone. Good. Pivot your hips and sidestep back to this cone. Boom. Boom. Pivot the hips and sidestep to the side cone. Boom. Come back to the center. Hold up. Now, you can do lots of different drills from this. You can see that you stayed in a small area, but Tracy will tell you she's working. Oh. Yeah, there's a little bit going on here. And you can do this lots of different ways. Like I said, just only be limited by your own creativity. You can have her take those movements and pass her a ball or have her throw back and forth while she's going through those same things. The keys are that she doesn't know what's coming next. Because in sports, that's the reality. You don't know what's coming next. So, oh, I have to sidestep. Oh, I have to crossover step. Oh, I have to go forward. Oh, I have to backpedal. Backpedal left. And also stay inside the triangle. So they're working on their, their proprioception of larger space. Can I stay within my space and understand where I am? And that's harder on one leg than the other. Because drift, drifting towards the prosthetic and not side and not away from it is going to be an issue. So it's just to work on that sense of I, I move around a little bit and I come back, say, playing tennis and I'm not over here on the left side of the court. I know that I'm back in the center of the court where I, where I want to be. So whatever that sport is, whatever that activity is, a triangle drill is a really simple way to really get somebody moving and moving fast. Once they can run, you can open up the triangle to being about twice the size and they can run from cone to cone. Turn, pivot, run. Turn, pivot, back pedal. Turn, pivot, sidestep, cross step all different directions that you want to do. You can do a drop step slide step, right? Like say if you're playing defense in basketball, you're gonna drop step and slide. All those different variables in almost every sport are beneficial. There isn't a sport in which you don't have to have fast feet. So that's what this is about, getting comfortable on fast feet. At the, by the end of this, when she walks out of here, walking is the least of her concerns. That's easy. 
compared to the workout that she's getting. And if we've done a good job with a young athletic patient, walking should be the least of their concerns. We should be working on skills that are so much higher than that. And one of my biggest knocks a lot of times with folks that I see when I meet young people around the country or around the world is they've been grossly undertreated by physical therapists. They haven't been really challenged at that higher level. They teach them to walk and they say, well, you walk well, so that's, you're done. Versus saying, well, no, if you were 20 years old, you don't just want to walk, you want to run. You don't want to run, you want to play sports. You want to be active, you want to do things with your family. You want to ride a bike, whatever it happens to be. Get out there, give people the opportunity for those things to occur. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you found this helpful. This video is part of a series on prosthetic interventions, ranging from managing the residual limb after amputation to running with a prosthesis. We encourage you to view our other videos in this series and to share them as well. To stay up to date on our latest content, click the link in the corner to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments section below.